Julius, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. So why don't you start by telling me about what experience or insight led you to start founding your company? Yes, yes. so I grew up here in Africa. My name is Julius Mwale. I'm the, uh, the principal investor for Mwale Medcon Technology City, a $2 billion city based in Kenya. Yeah, so I grew up here in Africa, mm. and I've always wanted to change our community. Yeah. I've want, wanted to develop, you know, the, the continent, yeah, in a way that, you know, will get a stable middle class, empower, you know, the people in Africa, and let them own the resources that they have on this continent of Africa. What would you say was the biggest challenge you faced when trying to do this? Exactly. So when I began, like, building the city, this $2 billion city, the biggest challenge is land. You want to build a city, you need land. Right. And so what we did, we had to get the community to be able to partner with us mm -hmm. and then become a, 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 a leader and a, a manager for this city. So now we have an integrated community development plan mm -hmm. where we have the community as part of the ownership of this city. Very cool. Now, I think... A lot of the things I've been hearing from young founders today yeah. is that they have this idea yeah. and they, they want to make it happen, yeah. but you know, there's all this bureaucratic red tape and they don't know how to get around the governments and yeah. partner with them. What advice would you give to, to people who were in the same position you were in and trying to do that? Exactly. So when you have an idea, yeah, you have to go out and yeah, you know, share with other founders, yeah. share with other people, test it in the market. You know, because you know, the most important thing when you're studying a business it's getting the capital and to get the capital for idea you go into the market and test the idea up yeah get a proposal from the market and then come up you know to be able to raise capital yeah, you know from other founders of, of venture or venture team of people now speaking of capital um what do you think is the the state of the vc market here and is it easy to raise capital is there anything that needs improvement here exactly so so the vc market in africa it's very young uh, specifically in other markets, um, I come from Kenya. Yeah, it's a young VC market, uh, mostly dominated by European companies, venture capital companies, you know, coming in. Of late, we have the U.S. companies coming in, but the market is growing. So for mm -hmm. Kenya, for example, we had billions of shillings of VC that went out, you know, last year. And we're expecting those numbers to grow according to data by over 75% in the next three years. And so in a decade, we're looking at having a well-established, you know, VC market in agriculture, in agro-processing, uh, you know, in, in tech, you know, IT, healthcare and energy. So those are four regions where the VC market is basically kind of, you know, uh, dominating and, and permeating, you know, within cool. Africa. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the biggest misconceptions about entrepreneurship or founders in Africa right now? Yeah, the biggest misconception is that Africa, you know, is the only place in the world, you know, most people don't understand this, the only place in the world where Fortune 500 can be created within a half a decade. Yeah, you know, okay. companies can be started and they'll be making a billion dollars yeah. within half a decade. Seventy percent of the population under the age of 30. Yeah, so we have the biggest resource in Africa. It's labor. And most people don't see that. They think yeah. the biggest resource is oil and gold and diamonds. In Africa, the biggest resource is labor. So, yeah, highly educated. You can come here. You can get, you know, very affordable labor. And they're, they're, well, they're very innovative. You can, you can create your, your product or your business and be able to move it on a global stage within five years for Fortune 500. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Okay. Thank you. What is exciting you um, in the, the entrepreneurship and founder space? Is there anything you're looking to invest in or any yeah. examples of things that you think are up and coming and really exciting? Exactly. A big one in Africa today, so we have three areas. We have healthcare, very big in Africa. C governments and countries are going for universal healthcare. You have a youth population here. Yeah, we're talking of fertility rates, you know, being high. 20, 30 years, most of this population, over 70, of over 70 percent, will be over 50 years old. So they're going to need, you know, treatment and healthcare. Yeah. Number two is agro-processing, agriculture. Africa is big on agriculture, mm -hmm. and so agro-processing and you know value addition, it's a big market now for investment. For example, there's a company in Kenya that got you know funding from Wall Street. Yeah, you know doing you know agro-processing and value addition for food, and it's over a billion dollar company, and all that. And of course, number three, you are in tech you know, in tech area. So right. tech is grown, mobile tech specifically. And, and the young people on digital, internet penetration is grown in Africa is way higher. Kenya is almost 90%, you know, on internet growth. Yeah, so you can basically invest into tech and you're gonna reach all the 1.3 billion people in Africa. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I know you're a businessman, but I also yeah. wanna to talk to you about your philanthropic endeavors and the, you. the good you're doing for the content. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Exactly, so I, I'm a chairman of a foundation called the American Institute for African Development. 
So $2 billion in assets. It yeah, works in 54 countries in Africa. Wow. About 3,000 staff and volunteers. And we work in uh, 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 governance, you know, uh, uh, entrepreneurship, governance. We work in healthcare. Yeah, we work into social economic development. Yeah, and then making sure that, you know, we have Africa, you know, free from corruption mm -hmm. with gender equity, yeah, within the continent. Yeah, so we're targeting more. The biggest, one of the biggest uh, flagship projects we're doing mm -hmm. is that we are paying for communities that can't afford healthcare to have insurance. Oh, yeah, okay. so we do that, you know, uh, yeah. all over Africa. And now we partner with hospitals, we partner with governments to pay for communities, either for premiums for healthcare, a third of the people that are very poor, will pay, you know, pay co-pays for them. Mm. And so we, we're doing that. In last year, we paid 18,000 yeah, co-pays, no, no, for uh, uh, 18,000 uh, uh, premiums and co-pays wow. for families, 18,000 families. Yeah, we're amazing. able to benefit, you know, last year. Oh my gosh, and yeah. my final question for you, because I want to go back Thank to you. something you said, you were talking about gender equity. Yes, yes. How, how do we get more yeah. female entrepreneurs and women entrepreneurs exactly. um, involved in Africa? Yeah, yeah. And what are you doing to, to help promote that? Exactly, so what, what we've done, because you know, uh, digital, uh, digital uh, penetration is an equalizer, yeah. you know, for both men and women. Like, for example, I've looked into Kenya, you have young people coming up with YouTube channels, and, and we're working with you know female founders to be able to do that. Right. Our, our, our city has partnered with Female Quotient. It's an organization based in Los Angeles. Okay. Their headquarters is built in our city. And so they have 4,000 square feet to do gender equity. So Female Quotient does gender equity in Fortune 500 for women. Mm. And so they have selected Kenya in our city as a headquarters for Africa. And so we are working together to be able to basically bring gender equity all over Africa with Africa First Ladies, you know, and we started that project last year, and we're gonna continue with it this year at the at the G20 in India. You'll be able to do wow! That. Well, fantastic mission. Thank you so well, much for so being much. here. Thank I you appreciate so much. it. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs>